So what I'd like to talk about today is how we authentic businesses don't have to think about or maybe shouldn't think about more traffic, more leads, more views. And yes, of course, it's nice to have these things, but I'm going to encourage our focus instead to be on true fans. This idea of true fans was popularized by Kevin Kelly. Uh, there's an article called 1,000 True Fans. You might Google it and find it. And the idea that he said is that it's never been easier in this day of the internet to connect with kindred spirits, the people who would naturally and most vigorously be interested, be passionately interested in the thing that we do. And not just that, I would add to our energy signature, it's just to our presence. What I mean is with your true fans, you don't have to pretend to be anything other than yourself. You can simply be you. And even if you that day your hair is not done well or you're not as energized or <clears throat> you're not as attractive any, as somebody else, you're not as eloquent that day, it doesn't matter. Your energy signature is always there in your content, in your presence. And your true fans somehow magically resonate with that energy signature and they will keep coming back to you again and again. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes, you, you create bad videos today or bad articles, whatever it is, even for months, they will keep coming back again and again. They might take, you know, some people might take a break for a while, but that doesn't matter. Your true fans keep coming back, right? Because they resonate with the energy signature. There's something there that they know that they can benefit from, that they can, that they connect with. And if you focus your marketing on your true fans, getting to know them, uh, and, and the other great thing about true fans is that you enjoy them too. It's not that they enjoy you, but you actually enjoy their energy signature as well. You connect somehow with what they're about and what they're, you know, what they're trying to get, get accomplished in this world. So if that's true, and if you, if you do the work of caring for your true fans, getting to know them better, then you will notice naturally what they like, what they love. And if you notice, do that work to notice that, then you will naturally create more of what they like and what they love. And so Kevin Kelly's article basically says, hey, imagine you're, you, you have a thousand true fans and each true fan spends on average $100 a year on your business. Guess what? You're making $100,000 a year, which is more than most small businesses are making. Okay? So now you might not need $100,000. You might only need $75,000 or $50,000 a year. I don't know what you need. But you don't need millions and millions of followers. You don't need tens of thousands of unique visitors to your website every, every month. What you need is your true fans. What you need is to connect with them so that they will naturally spread the word about you to more true fans, to people who, because true fans tend to be friends with other people who are more likely to be your true fans. So I invite you to think about, okay, it's just one more quick thing, right? Let's, let's work the numbers. Let's say you provide a one-to-one -one service, <clears throat> okay? And your one-to-one -one service, I mean, per session rate is what, $50, $100, $150? I don't know what your per session rate is, but let's say your per session rate is $100, okay? Gosh, a true fan will probably buy several sessions from you per year if they could. Let's say a true fan buys, you know, five sessions from you per year on average. Some buy 10, some buy two, I don't know. Let's say they buy five sessions. That's $500 of spending on your business per year. Let's say you only need $50,000 of, of, of spending. So that's what? A hundred true fans. That's all you need. A hundred people, which is completely doable. You could think of their names. Right now, you might not have all hundred of them yet, but you probably have a couple of them. Even among your friends, people who are very similar, at least, to your true fans. Okay? And you just kind of get to know them, uh, enjoy them, care enough to understand what they want and need. 
and, and you will naturally create more things that are like that for them. And so think of your business as having you, you at the center of your business. And think of this as concentric circles, like one circle and then and then a larger circle outside of that and a larger circle outside and a larger circle. It's like, you know, okay, layers, right? So you are at the center and just outside of you is your true fans, your circle of true fans. And again, this might right now be three people, but eventually it'll be 10 and then 30 and then 75 and then 100 and then 200. Okay, so your circle of true fans is, is right outside of you, okay? They're the ones that you you ought to be caring the most for, spending the most energy with, getting to know them the best, okay? And they tend to also spend the most with you, okay? True fans, and outside a true fan circle are your regular fans. Your regular fans are people who might be subscribed to your newsletter or they might catch you regularly on some social media. They consume your content occasionally. They might even buy some of your things, but not as much as the true fans do, okay? And outside your regular fans are the Again, regular fans are a larger circle than your true fans. And outside your regular fans is an even larger circle, which is your potential fans. These are people who may have heard of you. And they may or may not have heard of you yet, but, but, um, but they will eventually hear of you. And then eventually they might decide that they might consume some of your content. They might eventually buy some of your things. Maybe, maybe not. Potential fans don't always become regular fans, but there's a potential there. And outside your potential fans is the largest circle, which is everybody else in the whole world. And the problem with marketing is so much of the time we are almost taught to focus on appealing to everybody, appeal to the whole world, right? Get more traffic. But it's like appealing to the whole world, you are not speaking resonantly to your true fans. But instead, if you speak to your true fans and really focus on them, they energize your regular fans. And your regular fans spread the word to the potential fans. And that's really how authentic marketing works. I hope this is helpful. Always open to your questions and your comments. And I wish you a return. Return to your heart uh, connection with your true fans. If we focus on that higher purpose that we have of love and wisdom, you know, apply to, the, apply to an authentic business that means loving your true fans, and gaining more wisdom about your true fans and what they want and need, focus on that. Everything tends to work itself out. I hope this helps. Take care.